What's going on guys? It's Uncle Muscles. How you guys doing? I am doing a video today on the blueprint system in Once Human. Uh, granted, I'm not a professional on this. I think I figured this out last night and we have not really found any consistent information on how to do the blueprint in the game. So I think this might be the best like information out there currently. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I apologize if I'm like stealing anybody else's content or anything like that. But this is what I came up with last night. So I think I'm on to something. Anyway, let me get to it. First of all, beyond anything, you should know what weapons you want. For example, like I'm a sniper guy. So I really want a really good sniper rifle. And I really want high alpha damage. So I want high uh, initial damage. I don't want it to be like an automatic rifle. I want this AWM bingo, right? Now it turns out the AWM bingo, even though it's a sniper rifle... It's also part of the Huntsman class of blueprints. So you can see behind it how it says Huntsman. This means that any weapon in your inventory or in your blueprints, right? Anything that you have shards for that's part of Huntsman will apply to that blueprint. This is even if you have entirely filled blueprint schematics. Those are uh, the blueprint parts. Those will apply to other blueprints of the same class which means you do not want to redeem your blueprints. You only want to save your blueprint parts or uh, fragments for other blueprints that you're actually getting or trying to get in the end game, right? So that's what we're trying to do here. It actually tells you exactly how many you have of each class. And it changes between weapon and armor. So it's actually different. It doesn't apply. It doesn't carry over. So... Once again, we'll get into this. So, like, I actually want this uh, revolver as well, right? It's an operator revolver. Turns out I have 130 operator blueprint fragments. Now, at the moment, the only thing that actually can use operator, I believe... Let's see. Do I have one? Okay, so we have this SMG gun. Now, if I wanted to upgrade this, I've actually locked it. But if I had it unlocked, it would use the blueprint fragments I have for the other things that I have in my inventory that are part of that same... Uh, uh, blueprint class, which in this case was operator, right, operator. So that's basically how it works for the most part. I mean, you're trying to get the blueprint fragments from the wish machine. Oh, I can't get up to my base easily. We'll do that another time. Um, but you get your blueprint fragments from the wish machine. You're going to be using your star crumb, star chrome, star crumb, uh, for uh, getting those blueprints. And then you... Uh, Whatever fragments you get, that's fine if you're getting the same thing over and over again, stuff, stuff that you don't want. It, the point is, once you get enough fragments to unlock the blueprint that you need, then you can use all the stuff that you don't want to upgrade the blueprints that you want. So, in reality, what you're trying to do uh, in your blueprints is perhaps try to focus. Let's say if you have weapons, right? You want to upgrade. Let's say you're going to be rocking three weapons. You're going to have your, your primary, your secondary, and your, your melee. Theoretically, like, I want my my secondary weapon, which is going to be this revolver, to be an operator. I want my sniper rifle to be Huntsman, and I want my melee to be, like, Stranger or Wanderer, right? So, like, maybe that nice uh, katana. That'd be really dope, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so I've just unlocked... So I actually have a full blueprint for the stun baton, and to be honest, that might be the meta. We'll get to that at some point. But the stun baton is an operator blueprint. And like I said, I want this revolver. So I'm trying to get this revolver, and then if I unlock that, I'm just going to use that stun baton stuff on the revolver. Now, that being said, to be honest, the reality is I actually kind of need... I think we want this gun, but I don't want to have two things that go over... So I might have to make a choice between the revolver, the sniper rifle, and to be honest, I'm actually really liking the stranger that I unlocked, and I'm not using any other stranger things, perhaps maybe this sword if I unlock it, but I don't have it unlocked currently, and this, as I just released in that last video, is really easy to grind experience with. So I'm using the LMG right now, I'm upgrading that, um, I was going sniper and pistol for a long time. And I like sniping and pistols. And honestly, for PvP, it makes sense. But for PvE, oh my god. This is just like, it's night and day. I'm clearing out entire cities in like three minutes. So, you know what I mean, guys? That's what I would recommend. Anyway, so the same thing really applies to the, the, the blueprints. I'll just show you again. It, it is a different amount of blueprint fragments you have. But let's say we have Wanderer here. So Wanderer, 
if you right click it, it can be upgraded with your uh, anything that is of the same Wanderer class, right? So I'm actually not going to be using Wanderer a lot. I've decided that the blueprints I want for my character are actually going to be the Savior set. Um, I like the Savior set. I think that's going to be good for PvP and PvE. Uh, movement sp speed plus 20, all damage dealt plus 20, cloak for, plus cloak for 2 seconds, damage reduction on torso and limbs. Um, you can actually use med, med kits and med packs a little faster and stuff like that. I think Savior is going to be really good, and that's going to be the Operator. Now, this Operator is different from the weapons class of the Operator, so that's okay. So none of the ones that I need for, like, let's say, that, that pistol that I really want, none of the ones I need for the pistol are going to apply to the armor blueprint. But in the meanwhile, I know what I want. I want Operator gear, Savior set, Operator, right? Save A Savior set. Operator. So I need Operator Blueprint Fragments for these. And honestly, I could... I have some. Like, I have a bunch of stuff I can unlock right now. So I can unlock this this Blueprint for um, uh, the Heavy Duty Clothing Set. But I don't have any Legendary um, Fragments. So I need the Legendary Fragments to unlock the Blueprint. And then once I get the Legendary Fragments, which I will get down the line... I can then use the operator fragments to upgrade those those legendary things. Now, however, this the only problem with upgrading legendary items, and you'll have to consider this when you're making when you're upgrading your own gear. And to be honest, we're not even in the end game yet. Is that when you're upgrading legendary items to upgrade one level, it requires so much experience. And to be honest, this is actually a lot less than I thought because I was looking at the guns, and this is. Um, not the guns, this is the armor. So the armor is actually a lot easier to upgrade. Consider that. Uh, wow, okay, the armor, the armor, or sorry, the weapon blueprints, like this LMG is really, it takes a lot to upgrade this. So I'm not really, like a 1600 experience in blueprint fragments, that's a lot. Let's see if I can show you how much some is. Okay, yeah, so like that's, you get 20. Wait, no, you get 10 experience for a purple one. So this is 200. So it's like you need a lot of fragments to upgrade your weapons. The armor's not as much. Anyway, I hope this is a good, like, overview. Like, I know a lot of people probably viewing this stuff and trying to figure out this stuff. Maybe I'll do another video on the mods and upgrading that as well. But for the most part, and if anybody has any feedback as well about, about my video, whatever content uh, I'm making for this, um, this also shows you what kind of fragments you have. This menu is really cool on the, on the right-hand side. When you click blueprint fragments, it actually show you... Um, all the different fragments you have without actually going through all the different things. It's a little bit easier. Um, and then you can go through the ones that are locked too. Or show the ones that are locked as well. So, And there's filters as well. There's a lot of different menus in this game that actually work. One of the nicest things too is that in the items you can just search. That's like a feature that's not in a lot of games that it should be. Um, anyway, I just did a video on how to speed level. We're going to be doing speed leveling in groups. We're trying to do PvP primarily. This is one of the best PvE games I've played in a while. However, the worst team ever is a PvP guild and PvP corporation, PvP warband, whatever. So we're trying to get active members in there to do PvP. Please check us out. Uh, twi Twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. I'll put the Discord. I'll, well, honestly, I'm not putting in the information. Come check me out on the stream. I'll give you the Discord information through there. Uh, we're on uh, Star Strike A. And then I'm going to do another video on how to get on that server if you're having a problem. Uh, just trying to make sure we get all the boys and girls from the guild on us on our server first before we leak that information to the universe. Because that seems to be a big one. And honestly, it's probably going to be my next video. So we'll see. I might even just do that now. We'll see. Anyway, love you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one, everyone. And hopefully this helped. And uh, that's it. Okay. Catch you guys. Bye.